Hey, hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we'll be studying more about NumPy module, some of the more advanced functions which are associated with NumPy, uh, what other data structures can we create using the NumPy module. Okay, in the previous video was the introductory part. Please go to that video if you have not watched it yet. So let's get it started. Import NumPy as NP. So using the NumPy model, you can in fact generate random numbers. So let's say np.rend random. If I just put it like this, you see that NumPy has a module inside it, which is random. Okay, NumPy is a library and random inside it is the module. Inside this module, you'll have various functions. So dot rend in. So rend in is inside random, which is inside, inside in fact, NumPy. So NumPy the random the rend in. Now if I simply do, one comma eight, which has given me three. Again, if I run it, it will give me six. Again, if I run it, it will give me five. So it is basically generating random numbers between one and eight. But please understand, just like I mentioned while slicing, the starting number will be taken, but the ending number will not be considered. Simple as saying that it will generate a number which is greater than equal to one, but less than eight. You know, when you play Ludo or any indoor games, right? We use a die. So it has numbers from one to six. So if I want to, you know, use it as a, a die, I can simply use this random random function because it will keep on generating random numbers for me. If I do not put anything in the first, you know, number, by default, the starting number in random starts from zero. Okay, so it will count, it will take zero into account, but will not take seven into account. Right. But if I put two numbers, it will generate number within that range only. Now, what if I do this? If I say between 4 and 99, 3, what does this third number indicate? It has given me three random numbers between 4 and 99. So first two numbers indicate the starting number and the ending number. The third element represents the length of the array or it generates the number of such elements between 4 and 99. So if I make it 7 here, this is how you have to play it out so that your hands-on keep on increasing. Your hands-on experience should increase. What if I make it, if I want to make it a array, right? a two-dimensional array? Once two-dimensional array comes, you have to put it within a container. Suppose I want to is a two plus two matrix. When we did in the previous session, we had an array and we did E dot shape. We got a tuple of the number of rows and number of columns, the shape of the matrix or shape of the array. Similarly, I have to create a tuple here, say four plus four. So it'll give me a four plus four dimension of arrays. So if I do four plus 10, four rows and 10 columns. So this is how you can use random.rendint to generate random integers. And please mind you, these are integers. All of them are integers. If I do minus 40 to 99, let's see. So you can generate random, you know, negative integers as well. Okay, guys. So we'll stop our lecture today here and we'll continue more of uh, NumPy with very interesting functions which you can use, which can automate a lot of process and we'll explore all of them. So stay tuned, watch my next video as well. Please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned.